we can't actually answer that question. That one, that part of it. Sure, sure. But uh, can I? Or? I think I can probably. Is that just you or? <laughs> yeah, that's sexy. There we go. Oh well, geez. Uh, everything involved, everything going on here. It's very sexy. It's very uh, natural, organic. So I think we're all in agreement. So, yeah. yeah. Huh. Tourette's. Could we, could we replace the word agreement with agreeance? Because that's a word that my gym teacher used to use, and I'm a big fan of the word agreeance. And I just learned a new word, because I did not know that word existed. Yeah, it doesn't. it doesn't. It doesn't. It's a gym teacher word. I'm learning an awful lot here. Yeah. This is good stuff. Yeah, you had no idea. Dude. I had no idea. Now I, now I know. So you want to be efficient. Brevity is key. Right. right. I mean, cut, we got to be on the cutting edge, man. Yeah, no pronouns, dude. I feel like I come off such a... Ah! Ah! There it was. There it was. That's okay, we can edit that out, right? Yeah, we can, yeah, I think we can edit that out. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just not saying anything. We're not very interviewable, man. <laughs> What if we like interview you? you? <laughs> that would that would be yeah. it. That'd be good. <laughs> you could try to not come across like a complete. Yeah. I could try. You could try. But usually when I try, it makes it a lot worse. <laughs> it's like picking at it, you know. <laughs> interview with the Jinx. Take B. Mark. I can feel every hair on my head, oh no. We're the Judys and we play pop music. I've coined the term uh, gay polka music. That's, that's what so I... Let's say the Judys. Gay. What's that? The Judys sound like gay polka Oh, the Judys sound like gay polka music. That was right. Like it's like the Beatles trying to play gay polka music. I know that I, I, I do this because I really enjoy uh, playing this music and making, making this kind of music and, and I feel that there is a, a void that needs to be filled by somebody making this kind of music. I think all of us have just really, we've been playing music all our, our whole lives, we, we really love it a lot. And yeah, it's, just a, it's an outlet that I think if we didn't have, we probably would have ended up, frankly, a long time ago. Maybe that's a bit melodramatic, but that's just how I feel. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> Fantastic, Mike. <laughs> I think we like the like the smaller clubs with people pressed up against the stage and it's a real crowded room and that sort of thing. That's definitely it. Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> like uh, we prefer to play at the Star Bar, the 529, uh, over playing at, at, at more spacious places that sometimes have better sound without question. Having the, having everybody right there and, and the fact that uh, we like to get really, really wild with it and really rowdy when we're Oh, only when we're feeding off the audience. You can knock things over on the stage. Yeah, we knock things over. <laughs> Dave and I used to take off our clothes and look at each other. No, you can not get, consequently, I get mad. <laughs> and I really pumped up, so. Right. <laughs> I would say for, for another band that is where we were, or where you know I was personally or whatever three years ago, I would say uh, uh, grow up.